The action or practice of inflicting severe pain on someone as a punishment or in order to force them to do or say something, that's the definition of the word torture. Recent polls indicate that U.S. TV news media outlets don't like to use the word, but would rather use torture euphemisms like enhanced interrogation. This information comes to us from Global News Intelligence and Rethink Media, which coded and indexed uses of the word torture versus torture euphemisms over the past two years. It seems that print outlets like the Wall Street Journal, the Washington Post, and the New York Times were nearly 50-50%. Uh, whereas services like Reuters and AP, where many reporters get their information first, use the word explicitly at nearly 60%. Now, the shocker in all of this is that cable news services like Fox, CNN, MSNBC have reportedly opted to use torture euphemisms at an overwhelming 72.2% over the course of the two-year poll. The study claims that public opposition to torture in places like Guantanamo Bay decreases as the word itself is used less, and it wasn't until May 2012 that the Senate Intelligence Committee issued a report on enhanced interrogation. That was the only time in this data set when public media was overall using the word torture to describe, well, torture. And that's more than just semantics. I'm Gavino Garay for RT.